Hi everyone, it's Bonnie Green from the Green Team at Remax Condos Plus. Today I thought I'd do something different and I'm shooting a little video um, from Goodman's Pub on Toronto's harbour front. You can see the lovely lake in the background. So um, the, today's video is about recent condo activity on the harbour front, specifically on Queen's Key Boulevard West. Um, so let's go over the stats for the month. And these, these are from July 15th to August 15th. So on Queen's Key, um, we've had 54 listings in the last month or so. And of those, there have been 17 sales. So that's not a high percentage of uh, the total number of listings. But what I like this month is that there were some really lovely condos available um, that have sold. There were um, 17 sales. 10 of those were one bedroom condos. And um, they started off at a low of 500,000 for a small one bedroom unit. Um, that, that one had no parking, but it had a pretty decent lake view. And the one bedrooms went all the way up to a million and 15,000. Uh, this unit is a gr ground floor live work unit at 500 Queens Key and it overlooked the boulevard. So even though it's on the ground floor and it didn't have a lake view, um, it's quite beautiful overlooking the boulevard um, because there's flower arrangements and benches and streetcars and the park, the music gardens down there. So it's quite a lovely unit. Um, now we also had seven two bedroom units that sold and they started at a low of 843,000. This unit was renovated and it was a corner unit at the World Trade Center, which is at the corner of Young and Queens Key. Uh, this unit had lake views and it was 1,125 square feet. So um, for the two bedroom units, uh, actually let's go back to the one bedroom units. The units that sold, they were on average on the market for 19 days. Uh, the two bedrooms seemed to sell a little bit quicker at 17 days on the market. There weren't any three bedrooms that sold in the last four weeks. Um, so now let's have a look at the units that did not sell. So we had um, 15 units that did not sell. The average number of days that they were on the market before they were terminated was 35. And of those 15 units, it was um, eight one bedroom units, eight two bedroom units, and one three bedroom unit. Um, that leaves us with there was available 21 or 22 excuse me units 10 of which were one bedrooms 11 of which were two bedrooms and then we had one three bedroom unit so now when I uh, get to the favorite part um, of my video my top three picks of what is currently available now this was really difficult this month because on the harbor front this time of year with the flowers blooming there were some beautiful units that had lake views and balconies, nice floor plans. Um, so it was very hard to narrow it down to three, but there were three that kind of stood out. They're all large. They all had beautiful outdoor terraces with magnificent lake views and they were all in excellent condition. So here's my top three picks. Um, the first one, okay, and the terminal building, which is the historic building at the corner of York and Queens Key on the south side of the street. On the ground floor, you have shopping, and then on floors uh, two through nine, you have commercial office spaces, and then the 10th, 11th, and 12th floors are condominiums. So we, had a, we have a west-facing unit. Now, even in the terminal building, um, I mean, this is a building with a small number of units. The good ones rarely come up. Um, I would say I favor west-facing units because you get the um, sunset views, and um, on the west side of the building here, you have long units that have floor to ceiling, curtain wall windows, and then they have very wide, very deep and long um, balconies. They're covered, but they're almost like a terrace because they provide so much outdoor space. Um, this unit is traditionally decorated, so it's been renovated, but it's not a modern decor. It's more traditional. It's very tasteful. It's 1,700 square feet, and this one's available for 1.9 million. I know that seems expensive, but for a premium, premium west-facing suite in the terminal building, I think it's actually priced to go. Um, my second pick, now we're looking at King's Landing. Now, King's Landing are 460 and 480 Queens Key. They're on the north side of the street. 
and these are often called the waterfall building because if you drive by these buildings, the way the building cascades down the front, the units on the lower floor are closer to the lake and as you get higher it cascades away from the water. Um, there's a unit there that's over 2,250 square feet. It's uh, got beautiful lake views and as I said before it's got a massive outdoor terrace. It's just stunning. And um, on this balcony, you're overlooking the lake, but you also, if you look down, you have a beautiful treetop view and a view of the Music Gardens, which is a beautiful park on Toronto's harbour front. Um, so now we're gonna go east of Young Street on the south side of Queen's Quay. We have Pier 27. This is a newer development and there's something really special available right now. It's 2,733 square feet. It's a double corner unit, so it runs the um, southeast, south, and southwest uh, side of the building. And it's got a huge terrace. What I really like about this building is it's a more modern, um, industrial, but very, very luxurious feel. It's almost like a loft building, uh, but it's very tastefully decorated. Uh, and this unit is very bright because it is a double corner unit and you've got floor to ceiling curtain wall windows. You get a ton of light in there, which is just breathtaking to be down by the water. This unit's currently listed for 3.55 million. Um, so as I said, there are several really lovely units available in the harbor front right now. And if the three I mentioned may be um, interesting to you, please give me a call. But remember, there are some smaller one bedroom and two bedroom units that are also available. So if you'd like to come down to my office and meet with me to get a more one-on-one -on -one consultation, just give me a call um, or you can just contact me on my website, helpsellmycondo.com. Signing off, it's Bonnie Green from the Green Team at Remax Condos Plus. Thank you very much.